Okay, guys, that's Bruce. There's George. I had them connected to the wheelbarrow. Now they're on their own. All right. What does this have to do with anything? This, uh, this drink. What does it have to do with anything? Let's talk about collapsing structures and exoskeleton, if you will. So I'd like you to think about the, the, uh, construction of this can being round. And then you can change it to any form you want. And now imagine that if you could put floors connecting inside this can at any at locations, say 10 foot or 8 foot high ceilings, okay? And you secure it to the can. You secure it based on what you think the loads are going to be, the dead loads and the live loads. And the live loads being 40, 50 pounds, you know, even 100 pounds per square foot, let's say. So that you secure it based on that onto the can at different locations. And you don't have to secure it everywhere, not like a full weld. It has the tributary areas, right? The tributary areas. And, the, and you make multiple floors. Now, this is going to hit on your, your 911, your 9, your 911 uh, conspiracy people. This is going to hit on this structure also. So now we have these multiple floors. Remember how originally it was designed to take those loads. If you get a failure in one of these floor slabs, they create way much force on those connections than what was anticipated. It's a 10 foot, 8 foot drop down from the floor above to the floor below. It breaks one connection. It overloads that I'm sorry, it overloads that connection. It fails. The next connection can't take the, can, can't take the loading. It fails. It creates more weight on the next connection. That connection fails. They then fall down. They make the net, that's two floors now falling down onto the next floor below it. It breaks free even faster because of the loads are so, so intense. There's no one, two, three, just like, boom, because it can shear that new load away. And that's when you get your, your, your direct one-to-one, -one, your 911 tower, boom. All right, that, that's it. There is no magic of anything else now as far as the other magic yeah there was some nefarious stuff going on there there's two, two the odds are too great that so many people were moving out unless you can find out and they didn't address it in any commission as far as i know if they had plans to move out if you want to know if they have plans to f move out find out where their new lease is located and maybe they always had plans to move out it just happened to be a timely manner that they did that it's just one of the things that happened so now you have that going on Yes, I'm drinking that, and I'm going to enjoy it. And I think the guy last night, uh, David, I think it is, right? I gave you a comment. Thank you for buying this from me. So anyway, that's what it looks like there. Now, if you have a little bit of a shift because it's tugging and holding on the backside, it still creates that same shifting and dropping moment, but it pushes it over just a little bit, leaning it. But it still results in the in the pancaking down to zero to equilibrium now let's go to i don't want to advertise for these people so then now let's address what you guys have not seen in the video and the videos which i'm addressing today and the next few videos i'm going to direct point towards that the engineer report the re engineering report rather indicates that the person knew of some issues that knew of issues over here at the BMA and also at the parking garage at the wall there. I'm going to go a little more in depth in it, but I'm going to show you the control joint shows that this part of the structure was, was uh, the concrete was not fractured as it presents here and here. Aha! So how do we get from here to here? Well, that's where we're going to get there because remember, uh, I give you a lot of data. I just don't give you everything I have. And if anybody had that was worth their salt, they would have, if other engineers were worth their salt on this, they would have figured out that this control joint where the firemen are shows that this is not failed as in there. I'm going to show you a few things such as they move the, uh, the, hmm, I don't want to give away all of it. I don't want to give away all this sort of like my teaser video. So we have the, hmm, okay, I think I should give away some of it. The location of the exploratory holes are not as it's mapped on the drawings. It's not as it's mapped on the drawings, and I go over those details, and also over here. But why would you, question, why would he, or the, the company, by chance, check right here where we see the failure, 
expansion, the uh, shear failure, and also right there. Why would they check those two spots specifically? Also because the BMA is failing, right? That's why, because he sees or she sees uh, the fractures, I believe, are right, I believe, are right here. Now, that's where I believe it is. Is right about there, and that's why. So let's go ahead and check the deck on out here and see how the deck's doing with in relationship to this uh, structural repair that's needed. I believe is right here on the BMA, or the BMA Type A, and checks it and says, "This is shit. We need to do about four million out here, which is going to finally ultimately probably result in the entire deck replacement." I would, I would, I would theorize, and but the but yeah, I'm giving it away too much. I'm going to end this video. It's going to be about three or four part series on it. You'll see part one. Yes, it ends abruptly because, well, it's part one. Part two carries on when I'm, when I, when I load part two. So this will be a teaser video and please watch the video before this one. You still have to, it'll be in the, uh, uh, the description below, the link to the previous video before this. But now you have something to go on, something else to think about. And I present the details. I got a real surprise. A real big surprise about right here. Real big surprise. Coming up to you live from Cincinnati, Ohio. Of course not Cincinnati, Ohio. That's where I just made that up because it just sounded good. Okay, bye.